Hi there, and welcome back to Myland Investigations Case 1, True Blue Scootaloo. Last time, we gathered some evidence and we talked to Rarity, but we didn't say, we didn't talk about everything, so we're gonna continue that now! What was stolen? Could you describe everything that was stolen last night? Of course! First there was True Blue, a regular hunk of a sapphire that shone in the light like a noonday sky. Oh, whatever shall I do without the light of that jewel in my workshop? Um, whatever you did before you found it? Second, there was Opal. My darling, darling Opal! She's been missing since last night too. Now with the jewel I can understand, but... What could the thieves possibly want with Opal? It greatly troubles me to think of what might have happened to her. What if she just ran away? You must find them both, Twilight. Promise me. You must. You must. I'll do my best. Okay, Rick. okay. Calm I'm down. Not, not just a giant sapphire, but her cat, cat too? too? What in the could that, that be about? Who knows? Opalescence added to profiles. Opalescence. Opalescence. Rarity's beloved cat hasn't been seen since last night. Mm. I think that's all we can talk about with Rarity for now. And combine that with Opal. Alright, let's think about this logically here. Hair okay. this color in this length is pretty rare. As far as Equestria goes, there really aren't any ponies that it could have come from. In fact, the only creature that I can think of that it could have come from is Opalescence. And that would mean that whoever was here swerved and crashed into the window because Opalescence was in his or her path. And that would all come together to mean that this broken window likely was an accident. It feels like there's more to this than just that. But it's a start at least. Yep. Um, I'll be right back. Hi again. Okay, so everything seems to have checked out. So, uh, let's head this way. And where is it? Here it is! A piece of cloth. Red on one side, gold on the other. I think I know what this is from. Uh, Cutie My Crusaders Cape? CMC Cape Shred! A torn part of the Cutie My Crusaders Cape found outside the car Carousel Boutique today! CMC Cape Shred added to evidence. Pinky! Ah, Pinky, stop doing that! I'm trying to concentrate here. Oh, sorry, but I thought you might really like to know this latest thing I found in the walkthrough. What'd you find? <sighs> what is it? Well, if you get a piece of evidence that someone might know about, then after you start talking to them, you can click on present evidence, and they'll let you know what they know about it. Pretty neat, huh? Uh, I'm supposed to do what to what now? <sighs> Twilight, honestly, what am I gonna do with you? <sighs> well, you know what I meant, right? Yep! Now I'll work out peachy keen to the end, I just know it! Uh -huh. Way to fill me with confidence, Pinky. Well, that's all I got. See you around, Twilight! Till next! Flower bush! Just a flower bush. Nothing special, really. Although, now that I take a closer look, there's a ball here. With a note? Hmm. Sometimes that's a pony strange. just has a plain old ball emergency. And that's why I've set these up. Play around. Oops! Play around with it as much as you like. Just make sure you return it here when you're done with it. Wouldn't want some pony to have a ball emergency and not be able to solve it. Okie dokie, Loki. Somehow, I get a sense for who put this here. I think Pinkie Pie put it there!
I'm not. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not invest investigating the crime scene yet. I should look around more. Fine, let's go talk to Rarity then. And show her the Cutie Mark Crusader cape shred. Hi, Rarity. Present evidence. And present. Oh, I remember this little problem. You do? You. you do? Of course. I fixed that this morning, in fact. I can tell you about it if you'd like. Though I'm not really sure if it's relevant to this case, darling. Yes, please! Don't worry, Rarity. Every little bit of information helps. Of course! Apple Bloom came by this morning to have this little accident fixed up. She seemed to have ripped her cape during one of her usual excursions. I asked her why she didn't just get Sweetie Belle to fix it up, but she said that Sweetie Belle was very busy today and couldn't spare any time to do so. I really don't know what mm -hmm. those fillies are up to, but on the other half, perhaps it's better I don't know. I swear, sometimes I don't understand myself. Sweetie Belle absolutely ruins my gold silk and now here I am, fixing the capes they made with it. I'm an odd sort. Do you think I'm odd, Twilight? No, just really generous and nice. Oh, Rarity. I think you just have a big heart. <sighs> don't remind me, Twilight. Sometimes it can be a bit tiresome. So this belonged to Apple Bloom, and she had it fixed this morning. Hmm. CMC Cape Shred updated in evidence to Apple Bloom's Cape. Apple, Bloom, Apple Bloom's Cape. Apple Bloom's Cutie Mark Crusader's Cape. A torn piece was found outside the carousel boutique today, fixed by Rarity this morning. While I'm here, Rarity, do you know where Apple Bloom went after you fixed her cape? I'm not certain of her exact whereabouts, but she did head out towards the town square after I gave her the fixed cape. Mm. Oopsie. Perhaps that should be where you should search? Alright. Thanks, Rarity. You cannot go to town square! Yay! Um, that's everything I can talk to her about for now. Let's go... Go to town square! Oh wait, let's take a look at these tents. You know, I always see those tents when I come by here, but I've never actually learned what they are. Maybe they're merchants. Seems like they'd be closer to town square though. Or gypsies? I'd have thought they would have left by now if so. Or maybe it's all a big front for a secret group of dragon egg smugglers, and they're all hoping that, just like I have all this time, we pay them no mind because they're just tents of no consequence in the background. When all this time, right under our noses, they've been shifting dozens upon dozens of illicit dragon eggs to a shadowy, nefarious crime boss! Speculation is so fun! So much fun! Nah, probably gypsies. Would it be funny if later in the game they actually were dragon egg smugglers? Can you do that for me, Sweetie Belle? At least until this all blows over. Of course! Leave it to me, Apple Bloom! See ya! Hmm, I wonder what those two are talking about. Official Cutie Mark Crusader business, maybe? Might as well maybe. Have a chat with Apple Bloom while she's here. Okay. Ooh, here's a pony I've never seen before. Let's go talk to her. Oh hi. I don't think I've seen you around before. Are you new here? Yes. Well. Oops. Well, no. Well, sort of. I travel a lot around Equestria. I haven't been in Ponyville for quite some time, so... mostly. Well, welcome back then. My name is Twilight Sparkle. I'm Princess Celestia's student, but, well, in my day job, I take care of the town library, too. 
Oh, of course. I've heard of you. What of your exploits do have a way of reaching quite far away, let me tell you. Do they? <laughs> well, um, I'm really nothing to speak about, to be honest. But it's nice to make your acquaintance all the same. So, what do you do? I'm a sculptor. Or at least, that's what I most enjoy. Traveling helps me a lot with inspiration. Oh, sculpting! Have you seen our town's fountain? You might like it. Well, actually, I've seen it before. Or, well, I've done more than just seen it. I made it a while ago. Wow, really? I had no idea. Well, you should feel proud of it. It's very well done. Thank you. Although, there is one thing that catches my eye, now that I think about it. What's that? That plaque. Was that added recently? It wasn't put there when I made it, at least. And I didn't make it for the mayor. The rich family commissioned the statue. She... wait, what? Huh, boy. I wish this surprised me anymore. <laughs> Anyways, I was in the middle of pondering my next sculpture. It was very nice meeting you, Twilight Sparkle. Likewise. Okay, so that was Eclair. Eclair. The pastry thingy. She's named after that pastry that I've never tasted before. Let's talk to Apple Bloom. How's it going with the Cutie Mark Crusaders? Done any, you know, epic quests or crusading lately? Oh, well, uh, no, actually, not really. See, we're kind of on break. What? The Cutie Mark Crusaders on break? But they're so into, you know, trying to find their Cutie Marks. On break? Since when do the Cutie Mark Crusaders take breaks? Seriously? Since, well, recently. I mean, every pony's got to take a break once in a while, right? How I recently? guess. Uh, pretty recent? <sighs> Why, Why is she, is she avoiding, avoiding my questions? My questions? Something's not right here. Nope. Although, now that I I'm expecting about it, Pinkie Pie. One Crusader I haven't heard anything about today. Say, Apple Bloom, do you know where Scootaloo's been? Uh, nowhere. I mean, somewhere. I mean, not here. I mean, I don't know. Uh huh. Scootaloo! Scootaloo, one of the Cutie Mark Crusaders! Hasn't been seen since yesterday! Scootaloo added to profiles! Uh, let's ask about Rarity's situation. So, did you hear about what happened to Rarity last night? Did I? That was an awful thing that happened to her! Well, don't worry. I'm on the case. And I promise you that I'll find the one who broke that window and stole from her. Oh, uh... Well, uh, good luck with that. Hope you have real good luck there. That was an odd response. Apple Bloom, you wouldn't happen to know anything about what happened, would you? Huh? Course not. Why would you think I'm not telling you something, huh? Because you're not. Because you just or because you told are? Me that you're not. Or, yeah, you're not tell. You're not telling me something. Last night, I did two interrogations. Okay, let's interrogate her. Okay, okay Apple Bloom. Time, time to, to find, find out what you're hiding. Hold it! Pinky! What? I was expecting Pinky. Pinky. What in the world are you doing? I'm pressing you for information, Buster. Or at least that's what the walkthrough says. I'm not really quite sure how this is supposed to work here. Another lesson from Professor Pinkie Pie? Yup, Baroni! This time we're talking about <gasps> interrogations! Are you excited? I'm super duper excited with a strawberry on top! Don't you mean cherry? No, I don't really like cherries. I prefer strawberries too! I like cherries, but I don't like how, how you have to eat around the pit or spit the pit out. I just like eating strawberries so I don't have to do all that work. To depict the cherry. But you... I mean the whole ride home. With Rarity. Ugh, never mind. Let's just get this over with. Okie dokie dokie! Now, the 
Lofty says that interrogations are a super special thing where you've got to try to wring the truth out of your opponent. And you do this with your mind, Twilight. Your mind! I guess you should have no problem with all that mind you got, huh? Um, sure. So, what do I do? Well, she's about to tell you something that totally isn't true. Well, part of it at least. And it's your job to figure out what that part is. Once you find a statement that doesn't fit with the evidence you have available, you'll want to present that evidence against that statement. Like so, this really pizzazz! Can I do it without that last part? Yes, please! Well, if you want to be boring, sure! Boring is fine. Boring is great! Oh, and if you think you need your opponent to talk more about something they said, you can always select Press for Info. You'll get them to talk, talk, talk! Like me! I love talking! I've noticed. And that's all for now! But remember, you gotta use Pizzazz! Otherwise, you're not a real investigator! The walkthrough says so! Mm-hmm! Okay... Duly noted. Jeez! Do something light her up a bit, would ya? She's a terrible audience! Anyway, until next time, bye! Bye! I thought I'd never leave. Okay, okay. On, on with the investigation. investigation. Apple Bloom, I need to ask you about where you were around the time of the crime. Huh? How come? I'm not a suspect, am I? No, no, I just need to know. Procedure and all. That makes sense, right? Uh, sure, I guess. I wasn't really doing a whole lot yesterday, to be perfectly honest. Most of my day was spent with Applejack helping her on the farm. Okay... We finished everything up at around 6.30. Or 7? I don't remember exactly when it was. Okay... I had homework to complete for school after that, so I was pretty much just doing that for the rest of the day. That took the whole day? Just a minute. That took up the whole day? Do tell. After Family Appreciation Day, every pony in the whole class heads right in and say on how it's bad to sleep in class and some pony else is talking. That doesn't seem so bad. Oh, we didn't. Except for the fact that she wanted us to explain our position on why it's bad and what bad it is using classical philosopher's argument as a basis. That sounds like college work. Carry me, Ben. Hope will hold me to the grave, Twa. To the grave. This, this is, is an elementary school? Seriously. I never went anywhere near the carousel boutique. No, sorry. Um, let's prevent her, present her cape shred to her. Wait. Present. What in the hell are you doing? Well, uh, I wanted to give it, you know, pizzazz. Just like the real thing. Did it... Oops, did it sound official? Why, you feeling all right? Hey, I bet Zakora could help with that. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm not a lawyer. Anyways... It should just be any way. Why do people say anyways? It bugs me. Apple Bloom, I'm afraid to say that I don't think you're being honest with me here. Huh? Of course I am, Twa. How could you say something like that? Oh no, I'm not being guilt tripped this time. I found a scrap of your cape near the bridge to the Carousel Boutique. I know you were there, Apple Bloom. Oh well. That doesn't mean that was left here last night, does it? Why, that was left here a long time ago, Twa! No, Apple Bloom. I'm afraid that one's not going to fly. I talked to Rarity earlier, and she told me that you had this fixed this morning. Yeah, but... Your prized Cutie Mark Crusader's cape. Apple Bloom, come on. You can't tell me that you wouldn't get that fixed as soon as possible. Sorry. It's 
it's okay. But please, I need you to tell me what you know. I can't help if I don't know as much as possible. Last night, I had the questions. Let's talk to her about last night. All right, Apple Bloom. Please tell me everything you know about what happened last night. I can't. And why not? Cause I can't. Why not? Hi, Apple Bloom. I think I know why you're not talking. Two profiles. Scootaloo. Present. You're trying to protect Scootaloo, aren't you? I haven't heard from her all day, and Rarity said some things about you three that seemed awfully suspicious. I, uh, yeah, yeah, you got it, why? Apple Bloom, listen to me. I know your heart is in the right place, but this isn't the right way to protect Scootaloo. There's an investigative team coming in from Canterlot to handle this case. It's very, very important that I have this case closed before they get here. Uh, you don't mean... They at investigation team, do ya? I'm afraid I do. Okay, I get it. I get it, Twy. No more hiding. Promise. I, I wasn't being truthful, cause, well, I was awful worried about Scootaloo. See, last night, we were rehearsing a comedy routine that we had planned to put on for Rarity's birthday, which is coming up pretty soon. We've been doing that for quite a while now. Oh, right! Okay. Comedy, of course! Great! Well, yeah! This'll learn all cutie marks for sure! But you can't tell any pony about this, twice. This is super duper top secret! It won't work if it's not a surprise! Um, sure. You can trust me. Cross my heart and hope to fly. Stick a cupcake in my eye. Uh, that yes? How does she not know about the pinky promise? Um, yes. Well, all right then. Anyway, we were practicing in the town square last night like always, and things are going pretty well. We took a break during which time me and Sweetie Belle hung out by the bridge. But I don't know where Scootaloo was at that time, or what she was up to. A short while after that, we heard a sudden loud crash coming from the parasol boutique. We didn't know what in tarnation was happening now, so we just walked for a bit to see what was going on. And then a little while after that, some pony ran across the bridge real fast. We didn't get a good look at it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was to go to loot, right? <laughs> what? what? Oh no, 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 that can't be right. Afraid it is, Twy. I, I didn't know what was going on, but since it seemed like Scootaloo was in trouble, we all figured well, better not say anything about it. I'm awful sorry I lied to you, Twy. It's fine, really. You did the right thing in telling me all this. This has been a big help. Scootaloo's not yep. a thief, Twy! You gotta believe me! You gotta help her! Promise! I promise on my honor as an investigator that I will clear Scootaloo's name and get to the bottom of this. Is that something that's valuable? Let's just say that, yes, I promise. Apple Bloom's testimony. Apple Bloom's testimony added to evidence. Scootaloo updated in profile. Scootaloo, one of the cutie mark crusaders, was at the scene of the crime at the time it was... At the time it was carried out yesterday. Seems as though she stayed... On the scene for a little while before leaving. Now, now I, know I know that Verity's, Verity's hiding, hiding something from me. I'd better, I'd better pay, pay her, her another, another visit. visit. Let's go talk to Verity! Um, actually, I should probably hold off on that because I'm a little over time. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for Marvel Investigations Case 1 True Blue Scootaloo. Bye!